Welcome. Are you new to this channel? This channel is all about helping you become the healthy, thin person you want to be instead of becoming or still staying a dieter because being a dieter and being healthy thin are completely different and guess which one is way better. Yeah, being healthy thin. And by healthy thin, I mean the weight range that you want to be in, not designated by somebody else, but the weight that you feel most comfortable, your best self in, and it is reasonable to want to achieve that goal. I will tell you, it is reasonable. It doesn't mean you're a fat shamer or you judge anybody else. It just means that for you, that is what you want for you. So how do you do this? Well, I got tons of videos out there and I've got, we've got a website, dietsarefatting.com. But today I want to give you a tip about um, how thirst plays into this. And I've gotten this question kind of a lot lately. So here it is. So in, in our, uh, our motto here is to match eating with hunger. Who would have thought how simple? Yeah, well, it's so simple that no one does it, right? We've all forgotten it. Oh, I don't even know when I'm hungry. Think about how bizarre that is, okay? So another aspect of that, of course, is how to handle thirst. And I've gotten questions like, well, what if you want a latte? You know, but there's calories in that. Is that okay? Or, um, you know, can you drink, um, you know, your calories? That That's such a diet mentality question, by the way. But I understand it because I had that question many, many times when I was a dieter. Uh, a long, long time ago. So this is how you handle that. If the thought of a latte or whatever beverage that you are currently craving comes into your head and you go, ah, oh, that would be so good right now and your mouth waters and you just can feel yourself kind of go, yeah, that would be great. Then go ahead and have it, okay? You're, it, you feel thirst and you don't just want water because sometimes you will, but sometimes you won't just want water for sure that happens and that doesn't mean that that you're you know, bad or that, oh if you're thirsty if you're really thirsty you just drink water I hate that no you wouldn't um, example the other day I think it was Monday um, uh, I, I just had this craving for uh, this Starbucks drink that I'd never had before but I've seen them and I kind of kind of guessed I knew what they would taste like it was a like a frappuccino icy thing I never order those I never get those but I was at my office and half a block away is a Starbucks. I've gotten regular coffee there before and I've gotten other little things, but I don't think I've had one of those things in years. Anyway, went, ordered it, got it, drank the whole thing, delightful. I do not know why I was craving that because I don't crave it very frequently, obviously, because if I did, I'd have it more, but it just hit the spot. And um, I had traveled the week before. Maybe I was tired, maybe the ice, I don't know, it just doesn't matter. Because when you're in tune with your body, it's not like you have to judge what your body's telling you. As a matter of fact, it's a really good idea not to judge because then your brain gets in the way and you start saying things like, oh, but I could have, instead of a latte, I could have like, or instead of a frappuccino thing like I had, I could, I could have a low fat, this, that, that. Yeah, well, whatever. No, just go ahead and get what you're craving, enjoy it fully, and then get on with your life, okay? So, so what I'm trying to say is, even though I don't really understand why I was craving that, I don't care. As long as I respect that craving and also respect the absence of cravings, which means not eating or not drinking, things work out really well. But I also want to caution and say, caution, strong word, but I also want to remind you that when you're drinking something, whether it's that, what I had, or orange juice or whatever the heck it is that has calories in it, and you're, be uh, open to the possibility that very little will satisfy you. Now, I did drink that whole drink the other day. It was, I don't know, a tall or a grande. I don't even know what it was, but it was pretty big. And I, the whole thing, loved every every freaking drop of it. I loved. So I, I drank it all and I felt great afterwards. Okay, and I hear people saying, oh, that's so unhealthy. Okay, whatever. It was divine. And it, I moved on with my day. And so should everybody. Anyway, back to this orange juice or whatever. Um, I did a, a, a post on Instagram recently where I had this fresh squeezed orange juice in this little champagne flute just because it's pretty and that's what I drank it in. And I also know from experience that that's about, that really does it for me sometimes if I'm just craving that fresh squeezed orange juice, which is really divine, that I don't need a whole huge glass of it. And I think it's, that's where we get not in trouble, but that's where we overdo it. Like with food or whatever we're drinking, we tend to like, um, think well now we're doing this. So we might as well really do it up I'm gonna have this whole glass give your and maybe you will need a whole glass as I wanted that whole thing from Starbucks But maybe you won't 
So keep in touch with how you're feeling. Could that be enough? Could that be enough? Could that be enough? Could I delay drinking more of this until later? Has that hit the spot? Could I move? Would, would I be really sad if I was drinking? I'm still thirsty, but I don't really need that anymore. How would I feel if I just drank water now? Keep these possibilities in your head. And believe me, you don't have to do this for the rest of your life, this intense thinking like I'm telling you to do it first because you have to kind of retrain yourself. But eventually this becomes just part of your nature. I never think about this anymore. I only think about it when I'm telling you guys about it because I wanna help you guys get to this great place where I am and have been for 20 years, okay? So much better than dieting. So you just keep open to, okay, yeah, I do need more. Oh, I don't need more. And, and if you think when your body ingests calories that it doesn't register that, you are incorrect. Your body knows exactly. Let's say you drank, I hate talking calorie numbers, but just as uh, illustrative, I drank, your body says, oh yeah, she took in 100 calories of, of uh, uh, this delicious orange juice and you're, you're gonna get less hunger later because your body's gonna recognize that. It's not like you put calories in and your body doesn't know it. Now, some of you guys who are really sensitive to sugar, and I don't mean like that it's poison, but I mean for me in the afternoon, and I've said this a billion times, if I drink a big sugary something in the afternoon or eat something, I don't feel well, eat something sugary, I don't feel well, so I don't do it. So always have that in your head. Have in your head this wonderful word that I love and I should use more is nourish. What would nourish you now? Go from that positive angle instead of that angle of like, oh, well, what could I eat that I wouldn't, I'm just so big and what, no, be nice to yourself. What would nourish you? Provide it and as soon as you think, I could delay eating any more till later, then do that knowing that in any moment you can return to the table, get that bag of food back out, whatever you're doing, if you haven't had enough, right? So get to play on that line of, okay, this is enough, this is too much, and over time you'll figure out what it is for you. And that's where weight loss is. When you just kinda, just ride that little edge of, I'm not sure I need more, I can probably hang out here for a while, and you, you will lose weight because you are, you are riding that wave in between hunger and satiety really well instead of overloading your stomach and I promise you guys I promise there will come a time when the thought of overeating will be like no thank you don't know you won't want to why because there's no joy in it even we, we oh it's so fun to pick out no it's not it's miserable you're miserable you may have you know mouth fun for oh that tastes good but it's so much better when you're hungry and it's so much less stressful everything is better you do not do not keep that myth alive in your head that pigging out is fun, because it is not. We used to call it pigging out. I know it's called whatever it is now, but I'm just here to tell you, stick with me. Keep coming back with these practical tips. If you're thirsty, you want a latte or you're in the morning, and that's, enjoy it. When you feel that you've, you've, ha you've you know, kind of quieted that craving and that hunger, then you don't need to finish the whole thing, do you? Again, I finished that thing the other day. I'm not saying never to finish it, but just say, could you be done that? Are you satisfied? Even if you leave two sips, that's less. And that gets you balanced into your hunger satiety, thirst satiety. And you, you guys, please, please do this, okay? Please do this. You will be happy you did this, I promise, okay? Please like, share, subscribe, come back. I'm coming back. And um, you can do this, of course you can. This is normal. We've been trained out of normal, but you can train yourself right back in. So get started, okay, like right now. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.